What are your expectations for the offense and defense? Again, we kind of went over this a little bit as well. That's from 1265. Um, the offense I expect to be good. There's really no reason it should regress unless people just are not in rhythm. But everything we saw from training camp seems like they're 100% just ready to go. Everybody that is anybody is just 100% ready to go. Um, the defense, a little bit more iffy. I, I think there's every reason to believe that it's going to improve. But there's also a couple variables. Number one being anybody can regress. Jair, Amos, Savage, um, uh, Zadarius could further regress, although I doubt it. Um, Kenny may or may not get any better than he did last year, which was not a great year. Um, so there, there's plenty of that. Plus, there's the whole scheme factor. So it's such a wide range of what could happen. If, if a lot of people regress and the scheme is not great, the, the defense is going to get way worse and it's going to be a terrible defense. If everybody plays to their full potential and the scheme is better than this defense could be easily top five. So it could be anywhere from like a bottom 10 to a top five defense. So I don't know. I just look at it based on the standpoint of the actual talent of these guys, because not every defense has this much skill. That's the only reason I'm so optimistic about it. I'm, I'm realistic in the fact that anything could happen, but I'm optimistic because the level of talent that's there has just never really been maximized. I think 2019 was close. Um, but, you know, not even that, that. Even that. I mean, you know, again, Jair, Savage, Amos, um, a lot of these guys, they kind of peaked in 2020. If they can hold that and we get Kenny and we get linebackers to do something halfway competent and maybe our number two corner, you know what I'm saying? It's asking a lot to have everybody play at their best, but but um, it's just, it's an unbelievable unit. And, and the scheme could be incredibly beneficial as well if this is the right scheme for the same reason that I think a lot of the top defenses really don't have that many skill players. They don't have that much elite talent. Even the Rams, they got some good corners. They got Aaron Donald. The rest of that defensive line is trash. Their edge rushers are trash. Their linebackers are trash. Their safeties are mediocre. Number one defense in football. You don't have to have perfection at every position to dominate. You don't need that. Um, you just need people that know how to put the guys in the right position, utilize the talent. And, and, and again, if we can maximize the talent that we have, we have way more talent than that. We have talent at corner. We have talent at safety. We have talent at defensive tackle. We have talent on both sides of, of the, the edge rush spectrum. The amount of things that we can do, even Tampa. Tampa's defense was, it's like, they don't have that many great players. They've got an edge guy who is not as good as our edge guys, they had some guys like Sue and, and whatever, some defensive tackle talent, but everybody was overhyped. The corners were overrated. The safeties were overrated. They do have one really good uh, linebacker, but it's not like every single position is just super stacked with superstars. That's not the reality. Their defensive coordinator just knew exactly, they got exactly the right guys for their scheme, used them in exactly the right way, incredibly intelligent defense, and just dominated everybody. So that's, that's, that is the biggest factor that we got to figure out.